Imagine a school where every classroom has a smart board. Every student has a laptop or tablet. There are no textbooks. Students' desks are no longer crammed with paper, and homework assignments are never lost. All of the subjects are taught with the aid of technology, and you're taught at your own pace. Wouldn't that be cool? There's a revolution going on in classrooms around the world. And today, I hope to convince you that the tech revolution is actually a good thing. First things first, if every student had their own laptop or tablet, organization issues would improve a lot. With a laptop or tablet, students could throw out their paper agendas and enter into the 21st century. Also, students' desks would no longer be crammed with paper, getting all crumpled up and lost in the abyss of the unorganized desk because all of their work would be saved on their computer. Speaking of paper, schools would save a lot of it with laptops and tablets. Even though they are an investment, think of all the paper you could save. My old school, Gatestone, spent over $17,000 on copying and printing in one year. In fact, Principal Torrens estimates that Gatestone alone made over 600,000 copies in one year. That's roughly 1,000 pieces of paper per student. Now let's take that average of 1,000 and multiply it across the entire school board. If our board has approximately 50,000 students, that means it's quite possible that the HWDSP has gone through 50 million pieces of paper in one year. Spaced end to end would reach about one third of the way to the moon, or stacked on top of one another would tower five kilometers high. Not to mention all the paper used in textbooks. Also, Textbooks are expensive and not very green. Did you know that a grade six math textbook costs $56, but the same e-version only costs $7 a year? A bonus perk would be that our backpacks would weigh a lot less. <laughs> Another great thing about laptops and tablets is their versatility. They can be used in virtually every subject. Take music, for example. If students use their tablets for music, they could try out instruments they couldn't take home, such as the piano. They could also record or merge songs with apps like GarageBand or DJ. Math class could be taught in groups based on learning style and skill, with students choosing from a variety of different apps. Advancements in neuroscience are helping educators understand how different individuals respond to different teaching methods and styles. By giving us a choice, Students with ADHD or other learning challenges would benefit because they would feel a sense of empowerment, which would help them learn. Today's Meet is another great example of technology empowering kids. It's a program that allows students who are normally really shy and don't participate in class discussions to ask questions during a presentation without having to raise their hand. This empowerment can increase performance amongst all students. In fact, this is exactly what happened in the Eastern Township School Board in Quebec. ETSP was selected by the University of Montreal for a research project, whereby each student was given a laptop. The ETSP went from 66th 6th to 23rd in the provincial rankings for student performance. The high school dropout rate was also cut in half. Studies have also shown that technology in the classroom increases concentration and betters motivation. Students with laptops have also shown to write more than students without them. My last reason is the way of the future. With each passing year, our society is becoming more and more immersed in technology. Therefore, why not prepare our generation right now? Kids already spend a lot of time on computers, so why not teach them skills other than gaming or going onto Facebook or Twitter? I think it's time to move on to the next stage in education like when we moved from slates to paper. It's time for a revolution. It's time to move to EdTech.